Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Bug Fables. In the last episode, we explored very briefly some of the areas we had been in prior. A little bit of the jungle, and a little bit of the seedling territory, the earlier parts of the game. To see if we could access any other areas we might have missed, and to see if we could acquire any other items that we might have left behind. But we didn't find very much out there. We then went and explored some of the Forsaken Lands, and found the False Monarch optional boss. Ooh. And defeated it. Nice. Plus, we did a little bit of exploring in that area and found uh, a few crystal berries while we were out there. And then, we wrapped up that video. That was it. <laughs> but we, we discovered that we're basically out of side questing we can do at the moment, because we can't access Meadow Island. The wasps have destroyed the boat. I'm just going to quickly double check to make sure we don't have a medal waiting for us from this guy. And assuming that we don't, I think then... And we don't. I think it's time for us to begin forwarding the main quest line a bit. There are some things we can do over in the Termite Kingdom, though, right? We have a side quest for Ardia to find some very pitch black paint for her. And so we'll probably be looking to do that while we're over in that area. Now, I can't remember if we've unlocked a quick travel path to the Termite Kingdom. I don't think we did. That's the far grasslands. Is this it? Oh, we did! Okay, perfect. Oh, and I see an item uh, sack there. Oh, the item sack there? I see the storage ant. What the heck, Tim? So let's go ahead and look at our items we're bringing with us and what badges we have equipped, just in case you guys have forgotten. So here's all the stuff. I did a little bit of inventory management as I normally do off screen. I like having a completely sorted inventory as well, so things are where I want them to be depending upon what these things are and what they do for us. I would, like to, I would love the excuse to try out bombs, so we're bringing a poison bomb and frost bomb with us. And for our medals, here's what we have equipped. I am not going to be doing any sort of combat play style alterations. This has been working for us so far through the game. We're going to be keeping this rather than, like, say, shift V over to using poison weapons. Or try to let Kaboo get poisoned. Switch it so that he's healed and gets extra defense while he's uh, while such occurs to him. This has been working for us, with the possible exception of Antlion Jaws on Leaf. Since he tends to be doing a lot of the miscellaneous spell casting and item usage for our team. But whatever, we're going to let him keep this at the moment, even though this would probably be even better on V. To let her do in her one more point of armor on the target she's smacking. I've always felt a little guilty in games that have multiple people. If I don't try to give all of them some sort of buff simultaneously. Like, give their, give their power levels all some sort of equality. It's a, it's a me thing. It would probably be far better to give Antlion Jaws on V, for example, but we'll give it to Leaf. All right, let's head back into the Termite Kingdom. Man, it's been a while. <laughs> Once again, for you guys at home, you saw this maybe like five episodes ago or so. Six episodes. But for me, it's been just about two and a half months since I was last year or so. Okay. We're looking for paint. Someone who's hiding in the darkness and is so cool. I remember an alley that we had passed so at some point in here. So we'll want to check it. Mega Rush. Aphid Shake. Shell ointment and a squash. 
We only have one inventory space left over, so I don't think we need any of this at the moment. That's where the queen went, so we'll come back there after we've explored this area a little more. I don't think we have any new songs yet, so we don't have to purchase any of those. I love the music to this particular restaurant, fast food joint. All right, we don't need any hamburgers, right? I think we're good on that regard. It's, uh, okay, we've already read all this as well, I think. All right, so let's see. We've already looked at the Mothava, yep, posters. So she's popular even here. That's a termite guard. Oh, something is secreted here. I'll have to take a peek for it. Oh, there's the termite of, sorry, Firefly that reminds me of Curly Brace. It's the ear, it's her skin coloring. And those, the headset she's wearing. That's the gentleman, I'm pretty sure, who has the darkest paint. Uh, excuse us. We heard you have the blackest paint. We're interested in that. I have no business with you. Scram, if you know what's better for you. Eh, but, but we need the paint. Uh, let's leave him alone, team. We need the paint, Kaboo. I know, but it doesn't seem like we can get it now. Let's ask Ardia what to do, and come back later. Alright, we'll do that. May the blessings of our ancestors be with you. Well, so much for that. <laughs> there is something supposedly secret here, though, right? The metal went off at some point. Oh, maybe that's because, though, of that side quest. Still, we'll poke about really fast. This is an inn to rest at. Oh, can we... Maybe we get a hotel room and we can look out over the termite kingdom there. How expensive is it to sleep here? Oh, welcome! This is the Dome Hotel. A night is five berries per bug, so 15 for you three. Will you stay? Yeah, sure. That's 15 berries accounted for. The room is on the second floor. Pleasant dreams. I'm curious if we start in the room, if we wake up in it. We do! Okay, so what's in here? What is- oh, a microwave! It seems you can cook with this machine. Would you like to put something in? Oh, interesting. We don't have any items that can be cooked here. Rather, I'm sorry, we, everything can be cooked, but I don't think we need to cook any of this. I'm guessing this is how you... There's no chef in the termite kingdom. So this is how you do that. Awesome! They've got convey... Oh, this is... These are talking about as if we're outside. Okay. Oh! We were sharing this room with other people. Even the termites get tourists? Wasn't this, uh... I, I, so, I, I, so, uh, isolationist. It's a rough trip, but only ants were truly banned from this kingdom. Good thing our team's not banned anywhere. Oh, new roommates? That machine over there can combine items if you want. It doesn't taste as good as something prepared by a chef, but it gets the job done. The city is nice and all, but... I wish it was l less gray, you know? Okay, and she has nothing to say about this bug. I came all the way from the Golden Settlement. It wasn't, it wasn't fun getting lost in the Forsaken Lands, but it was worth it to see everything the city has to offer. Oh, we can go to the roof. Let's go to the roof. Oh, maybe we, maybe we could have interacted with the elevator on the ground floor. I didn't even think that was possible. I'm thinking we'll get a discovery here. 
I am wrong. <laughs> Why is this here? Oh, I see. Oh, oh. <laughs> wrong button. Can we go back up there again? Another lore book. We still have to turn a, another one in. I'm off to investigate those mysterious moth flies. Should be back before dinner. Oh, I wonder who was here. And we defeated the... Oh, that was the wrong button again. It's, it's, uh, there's probably nothing else up there. Um, We defeated the... False Monarch, so hopefully... That would clear up any issues. There's the guy who really likes the eating at eating at all the other restaurants over there. And I think this is the entrance to the arena, which I I have not stepped in before, so this will be my first time here. Awesome! They okay, you say nothing new here, they. Uh no matter what I do lately, Terry just won't smile. The society's advanced, but it seems some bugs do struggle. Is it just part of the industrialization? Or are they super competitive? Rather than discuss our situation, let's try to improve it. Well, I think this just goes to show that no matter how much technology advances, you're not necessarily going to be any happier than you were before, even if life is a bit more convenient. You'd still likely have new problems. What are you looking at? You seem to be upset. I was wondering if we could help you. No, you can't. Scram. W wait, uh, I... Don't mind her. She's been so cranky. You'd have to be some sort of Colosseum hero just to make her look at you. A bit cranky, huh, V? What, you trying to say something? A hero. The child looks so disheartened. Go, Kabu. Don't let us stop you. <laughs> Don't take too long. You've got to respect their commitment to trade. Well, making a profit's hard work. Oh, right, I forgot he was with the caravan. I'm just glad the snail made it here safely. So am I. I love this little snail. Ugh. The termite market demands many different things. We'll have to study more to make a profit here. Outsiders, huh? Came to watch a Colosseum match. Didn't know it was that popular. The guards of this kingdom are varied, huh? In shape and all. This one seems super bulky, like Kaboo! I'm gonna take this compliment. <laughs> they seem well versed in the use of long ranged weapons, too. Even if they've had peace, they're not eager to see it threatened. No one is who has peace. Sometimes people forget. Oh, look, another lore book in here! Amazing! Just what I wanted to find! <laughs> Though I am glad we managed to find that there. Uh, people forget what it costs to, to keep f uh, freedom I and mean, keep it free. Who are you? Why are you? What are you two talking about? Brother, you mustn't forget your lunch this time. <laughs> Worry not. This time I won't forget. Uh huh. There's already guards here. What's his job supposed to be? Probably a cleaner after all the fighting. You could help carry in supplies too. Boring. Okay, they don't say anything new. All right, well, let's stop on in and watch a Coliseum match, if we can. I like the portrait, I guess, of their... the highest, uh, gladiator? In the tournament? Oh, and the... the, the merchants did make it here. Oh, the ladybug travelers made it here, too! Nice! So, berries... Standard, low-level stuff, and burly, spicy berries. Okay! Nice, you can make as many honey leaves as possible. As, oh, not as possible as you want in the microwave, I suppose. Let's go ahead and well, talk with all these people, obviously. Actually, what does our team say first here? This is it. Their hall of blazing glory. It looks a little... normal, you know? They must have chosen to keep it outdated. In the name of culture. That just sounds lazy. 
Don't let historians hear you. Whatever. These two have pretty much seen the whole continent. Except the Ant Kingdom. Maybe if we find the Everlasting Sapling, we could revoke that ban? Oh, we'll be right about that. Ah, you're Team Snake Mouth! Do you plan on fighting in the Colosseum? Oh, it never occurred to me that we would do so. Yeah, I guess I guess that's an option for us, huh? Oi, you're the ones that saved us from the Wasp Kingdom. Thanks again. Hello there. Going to try the Colosseum? We sure stock up before you do. All right, let's see. So they're guarding, I guess, I see... All right, the same symbols above both of those other doorways. You see that picture on the back? That was a legendary champion that beat the Colosseum five years consecutively. He suddenly disappeared, though. I wonder if new challengers will take that up that picture now. It, is it okay for children to witness such battles? Weren't you inspired by plays and books? This is completely different to a Colosseum. Is it? You read about, uh, death, destruction, and possibly some other bad things in books. Here, you're just watching it. Oh, well, no, well, I guess that's not true, right? If this is the actual Colosseum, then I guess you're fighting to the death? Unless it is, like, wrestling. This guy looks like a rake to me with that uh, nail in his hand. You go, reg super regular normal dude. These found a hero, huh? What? No, I'm my own hero. I should be his hero. Uh. <laughs> huh. They said that workers aren't strong enough to fight. I will show them. Good for you, sir. Only audience or contestants. Okay, let's see if we can uh, watch a battle. I wonder if we can bet on the fighting. Getting paid to run this place could be chill. We may consider it if we quit exploring. Is that so? I've always thought of being a gardener. I don't want to ever quit exploring, but you know, I'd run a shop. That'd be an amazing other, like, games for all of them, where they have to manage different things together. That could be us to grow a garden, V could be a shop owner. Though I don't... I don't know if the company, company? The developers that made this game, which I think is only two people, two or three people, I don't think they have anything else planned. Hopefully I'm wrong in that, because I love this game. Oh, hey, welcome to the Coliseum. Right now, we don't have any fights happening. Come back later when we do. Oh, Darn it. Okay, well, then I guess we're going to go see the queen. Let's actually, you know, guys, let's check our quest log. So this is what, wow, chapter six, when it started for me over two months ago. The Lost Kingdom's trickery pays off, allowing him to attack while Maki, Maki was the name of the warrior ant, and Team Snake Mouth were away. Claiming all the artifacts, he makes his way to the giant's lair. Queen Eliza II resolves to do whatever it takes to help her people, and heads to the Termite Kingdom to plead for a truce. Team Snake Mouth must meet up with her in the tunnel leading to the Golden Settlement, which we did. The Ant Queen and Team Snake Mouth have teamed up. They must pay attention to their surroundings. I think we did that. V finally carries her team across the Forsaken Lands to her distaste. Defeating a primal weevil aids the Termites, granting them entry to the Termite Capital. The Ant Queen heads to the Royal Chambers. Give her your support. Okay, so let's go there too then. We're done with, I think, everything that we can do, with the possible exception of the boss rush mode and doing the Cave of Trials, wrapping it up. I shall, I will probably look up what the Cave of Trials gives you off screen if you do complete it. If it's something like an attack berry, we will probably want to do it in the next episode. I love the stained glass window back there of the termites. I'm guessing the king is a smaller one, right? For bugs, generally the females are the larger uh, insect of the two when they have a pairing. 
I'm watching you. Okay, we've already read that. Now this is a better mood. My eyes appreciate the light. I do wonder, did their throne have to be in the last floor? Well, duh, it's the throne. Come on, Kaboo. Hey, it's rare that we get outsiders here. Wait, you're with the ants? Ah, look at the time. I must go. How adorable. The queen's got loyal servants. I've seen the things they can carry. It betrays their small body. Whoa, I've got to see that. I wonder why the anti termites are so against each other. They do, they... Termites don't make like ant, they don't barrel into the ground, they burrow into wood for their homes. So I don't think they fought over territory. I don't remember why they had fought. We are the queen's caretakers. It's a heavy task. Oh, so the queen must be indeed the bigger one. She was waiting a long time. Sorry, Elizant. Uh, Queen? Team Snakemouth. You gonna go in? I'm a bit nervous. It's not often a Queen's the one requesting an audience. If it only was just that. I can't help but think that if I fail, you're all doomed. Queen, you... So, the report was true. To think someone like you would come here. Our royals will now grace you. Don't pull anything funny. Let's go. Oh, my lovely. The guard just handed me the a most jolly report. Is that so? What is it, dear? They said a visitor that will surprise us has arrived. They should be here soon. Oh, my dear. It really is. You! How dare you walk into my hall! and break the moon's long separation of our people. Your eminences. This, that is King Hector the Fourth and Queen Laria the Second for you, Ant. My apologies, King Hector. Queen Laria. Hector the Fourth, not Hector. Dear, watch yourself. You'll faint from disgust. What is your business? What? I won't mince words, nor play around the issue. The Ant Kingdom has been raided by the Wasps. My people have been hurt, and the artifacts of old have been taken. The artifacts? So you did find them after so much struggle. And then you incompetently lost them! Indeed. The Wasp King holds power I had never witnessed. Even my loyal knights, V, Kabu, and Leaf, had a hard time with the Wasp King. Nice to meet you. It is my honor, sup. Hmm. Threw away that Maki of yours. He was injured in the attack. It would have not been prudent for him to come. Such a varied team. It seems just about anyone can get into Bulgaria nowadays. What's that supposed to mean? V, you've got to shut it this once. <laughs> What's it to us, then? You ruled poorly and got your trinkets stolen. This is... Oh, man. Poor Elizant. This is... They are not being kind to her. Man. I... So, I guess whatever it is that set the termites against the ants has definitely clouded their judgment and poisoned the well. For this whole entire conversation between these two. They're not going to be lenient or look very empathetic for poor Lysant here. You presume we should worry? 
as if our great defenses would be felled by some wasps. This dome of ours has survived storms without a single scratch. You truly think so? That the Wasp King, who's found the magic of flame, and will soon obtain the full power of the everlasting sapling, shall be of no threat to you. F flame, you say? Oh, interesting. It never occurred to me that no other bug we fought so far has used fire. That would definitely ruin any hive or nest that any bug would create. Yeah, nothing. I don't. I can't think of anything that set us on fire in the past, except the Wasp King. That sapling is a darn myth that drove your mother insane. Uh, how many more moons could we have with have had with her if she hadn't been so obsessed? It is not a myth. Watch your tone, Ant. We found the mask, the tablet, and the key. Or were those myths as well? The king is heading towards the giant's lair, an area none dare tread. He would lead a crazed army towards such a place based on simple hearsay? Open your eyes. You think I would travel the wasteland personally and bear the brunt of your crass tone? If all of Bulgaria wasn't facing Great Pearl? You think of me so pathetically? I accepted and respected our treaty after our negotiations turned sour. I am not asking you to change your mind in that regard. But if you care for your people, you won't turn a blind eye to the danger heading our way? <sighs> right. Dear, calm yourself. You're being blinded by the past. That's, a, that's what I've been saying as well for the past few minutes. You can't truly mean she swayed you. Ants are unrefined in many ways. They cannot match her intellect either. But they do not yield under pressure and work very hard. It is nature's way. I know you speak the truth, Queen Eliza II. Laria, you were always too soft. And you're too stubborn. That's why I'm by your side. <sighs> what would you ask of us? Although it would be for the best for our nations to try and reconcile, right now what we need is a a way to head towards the giant slayer. A way to cross the sea. Dear, weren't the scientists... You mean that? You trust them with that? Oh, it's missing just a few touches. It'd be a fun test ride. Will you help us then in protecting Bulgaria? I'm not convinced. Dear, you say your knight's lost to that puny wasp? You think our soldiers wouldn't match up? I wish for proof of the enemy's strength. We do not think you'd wish for their visit upon your kingdom. That still needs some time to be completed. Before then, I would have you participate in our ancient tradition. Ah, the Colosseum. You'd have us fight for sport? That's my type of diplomacy. V. If your people best our brave warriors, then we might be in a real pickle. Your knights will face off in glorious combat, and then I shall decide. You won't let me join them. I would like for you and I to discuss some other matters as the fights go on, if you don't mind. Leave it to us, my queen. We'll do well. Hmm. They'll see we're not jo just joking around. It's been a while since a public smackdown. You will find the Colosseum around the residential district of our kingdom. Do not dally. Your kingdom is against the clock, after all. We will start the ceremony shortly after you arrive. I hope you can provide a good show. My apologies, Team Snake Mouth. But I will be counting on you. Do not fail. You can count on us, Your Majesty. Let's go to the Colosseum. Cool. We did all the side questing too, so thematically, let's do it. This makes perfect sense. What is this, by the way? A flower. Well, we're all prepared for like a trial combat. 
we got everything I need in our inventory already, so let's just head over there, we'll save the game, we'll walk right in, and see if we can participate in at least one or two battles. And then we'll, uh, call the session. Interesting how the Termite Queen was discussing ants. Very evolutionary, her take on different races here. I haven't gotten the impression that most of these bugs... Like, well, no, that's not the case at all, right? Ants can carry actually a huge amount of stuff compared to other insects, for example. So there must be some evolutionary uh, bias that all the bugs have towards other bugs, not of their own, well, bias is probably the wrong term to use. But, uh, preconceived notions? Is that the, what, the phrase I'm looking for? Even if they're, like, more, even if they can improve... They're probably still set in their beliefs of superiority or what have you for different, uh, different species. Or at least it seems like termites are that way. Or some of them. Actually, yeah, it wouldn't be fair to say all termites, right? Just the queen that seems to be that way based on what she said. Huh. You're the Ant Kingdom Knights? A bit scrawny. Out of shape. Excuse me. It's whatever. Everyone's looking forward to a new challenger. You ready to go? You'll do three centered fights when you're in. Alright, please cross through the left door. I placed a bed on you for kicks and giggles, so good luck. If I give you some berries, can you bet higher and pay me later? No. Aww. <laughs> I love it. My dear workers, scientists, termites of every kind. Today is a battle unlike those you're used to seeing. The honor of our kingdom is on the line. These foreign knights claim they can best our best of the very best. National pride. Yeah, we're gonna get booed a lot. I love it. Yeah! I just... <laughs> And what better way to test that claim than with the ancient tradition of our ancestors? A good old public fisticuff! I love this. How many rounds will they get through, I wonder? Without further ado, let's begin. From the left gate, V the Bee, Kaboo the Beetle, and Leaf the Moth. Team Snake Mouth. This is actually interesting, too, because this shows, indeed, like, the termites are mostly just termites here, right? But this group is consists of a bunch of different bugs, all serving for the ant kingdom. And an ant isn't among them. We should have picked another name. Didn't expect us to get famous. <laughs> it fits us perfectly. Focus on the battle. We'll do awesome, like always. Now, from the right gate, let's warm up our visitors, shall we? Quick quick tangent, because we're going on lots of these apparently today. Uh, I've played Dungeons & Dragons a lot, and I've been Dungeon Master far, far more often than a player. And something I always like doing, because my players never really think about it, is forcing my players on the fly to come up with a party name for their group. And I do it almost immediately, like in the first session that we play, and within like the first hour or two, generally. My players generally have never thought of a name, and I give them like five minutes once I ask a question to come up with a name for their group, or I'll name it for them, and that they generally will not like the name I give them. <laughs> and so it's funny to see them panic and try to come up with something cool that they all like within five minutes. It's great. They shall face fierce beasts from the Forbidden Lands. Now, battle! Alright, so... We f flip it, right? Is that, I think that's what we're going to do here. If I can get both of them with a flip, that would also be very good. So, 
I guess, yeah, like, Kabu will be in the front for this one, then, because he's going to have to do some good damage to that pumpkin. We can flip it, I think, right? I'm pretty sure we can. It's been a while, though. So let's... Let's start with an... Oh. Okay, so let's... Let me... Let me try to talk a little bit about what goes through my head when it comes to Leaf. So Leaf has the strong start, which means that whenever, I believe, for the entire battle he is in, whenever he gets another turn, via a turn relay or at the start, his second action is far less powerful than the first. So if I'm going to have him actually attack, he needs to do that first, because that way he still is at full strength. I want to empower Kabu. And I would like to do that first, but that means that if whatever I want to do with Leaf second won't be as strong. So I think what we will do is we're going to freeze the back spider to start, or use an ice ball to see if we can freeze both of them. And then Kabu tries to flip the pumpkin. I think. Can I flip the pumpkins? Actually, let's see if I can flip the pumpkins really quick. This humongous creature sports armor soldiers would be most envious of. My horn can only barely hurt it, even while I'm at the front. It may be wise to save our skills for this behemoth. Oh, okay. We can't flip it. So it's just super strong. Well, that's good to know. So we had more one point of armor with Leaf. So why don't we go ahead and... Frigid Coffin it? And now Kabu can s destroy it, right? Because he ignores one point of armor. We do it extra, extra damage. Yeah. Let's... Oh! Yeah. Normal attack, Tim? We ignore one point of armor. We're doing three damage. Oh, oh my god, I have to actually think about this. No, it should be V that does this from, from the front. She does five damage up here. Yeah, she can kill it with a single hit. But if I'm going to do that, let's put Kabu in the back. So we can taunt the other creature. And then we do nothing with Leaf to get back a TP point. Not a perfect block, but I'll take it. We do the turn relay. Ah, uh, no. We'll have both of them attack separately. Bud will kill it. So we should rest, recover another TP. Oh, we recover f four TP at the end of the round? So we'll have Beatus kill it. Child's play. Wait, why are they why are they shouting for us? Huh. Child's play indeed. It's time for our second act. You will now face Cross and Poi, the bravest of our border guards. Oh, the two I guess that we had met out there who investigated our destroying of the Primal Weevil. Ah, well, it's nice to see you again. We won't go easy on you. Give it your all. It was your trust that got us in this far. We will honor you with a good fight. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We are totally doing the whole spy thing with everyone on both of these guys. I'm sorry, Cross. We never meant to drag you into this. Everyone, watch out for his crossbow. We must give them a worthy battle. This one's got buff arms and fancy weapons. Deadly combo. Termites handle the cold well. Guess it's up for, to us if we want to gamble on it. Okay, so they have some frost resistance. Whoa, that's a nice crossbow! 
Maybe I should try new weapons sometimes. Tough bite, too. We can't give him a chance to use all his attacks. This guy's bonkers. He's got a cannon on his head. We just have to show him we're a much stronger team. A cannon on his head? Our apologies, Poi. We know you're just doing your job. Hey, everyone, watch out for his sword and cannon. We must fight with honor. Tough luck getting sent to fight us as part of the job. The head cannon and sword are a nasty combo. We can't let our guard down. Turn by tender the cold well. Okay, so yeah, so doesn't sound like we'll be using our ice abilities. But I didn't bring. I mean, we don't have anything else we can use except for bubble shields, right? And in power. Okay, I think we will empower V and use an item. Actually, we should... Oh, I... I okay. Let's empower V to start. That's a shame. And Leaf gained power up, but now he's already acted. So, I don't think his attacks are stronger now. Kabu can taunt them. We'll then use an item. We'll use our spicy candy. Actually, no, we don't need to use spicy candy. I don't think we'll be in this battle for four turns. Let's use Tornado Toss. Twice. Okay, so we can do an ice... Oh! Let's just attack normally with Leaf this time. We will want some TP restored, I think. We're not going to kill him with a single attack from V. Oh, I should have turned Relayed. First, because there was no... We, it, she had one hit point left. There was no reason for me to attack with Leaf like I just did. Okay, too late now. Uh, we shouldn't kill him. We actually can kill him this round. Yeah, let's do it. wonder what it was they were able to do. <laughs> oh, oh. Incredible. Please forgive us for having to beat you up. Eh, it's all in good sport. Huh. So you have some skill. Oh my, dear Point and Cross are not easily beat. But whatever. You're not claiming victory so easily. Now, you will face a captured creature that instills fear in the most hardened veteran. Oh? You'll... Are you sure? Unleash the Primal Weevil! Oh. He doesn't know, huh? You gotta beat it again? 
No, no, no. What a dull show, don't you all think? My dear public deserves better. So much better. Oh, is this Mothava? That's right, it's me. You're one, you're only, the most loved, loved in the termite kingdom. Oh, it's Mothava. Oh, her voice is smooth as ever. Sup? <laughs> what are you doing here? No way we let you steal any queen's graces. When I heard you were coming, I just had to crash this party. What do you gain from making this harder for us? Yeah, we're on the same team. This show is to prove the enemy's strength, but also your strength, Team Snake Mouth. If we defeat you, we'll show we're superior to you. And then the queen's gonna have to tag us along. This is ridiculous. You realize you could be dooming us all. What if the Termite King loses trust in our queen? What if you lose to the Wasp King without our help? You have gone completely, utterly insane? Have you lost all intelligence? Yikes. You're rethinking this way too much. The Ant Kingdom's way better in our hands than with you losers. We have saved your life before, you witch! I said we'd never speak of that again. Sosk, you've helped us many times. You can talk some sense into her. Don't misunderstand. I'm not doing this only for Mothava. Although it's a pretty big reason. Ugh! I want the Primal Weevil back. Just shut up and fight, you cowards. Let's get the crowd wild and cheering. At least we have one fan up there. <laughs> I agree. Anything to see Mothava perform. How serpentipious. I'm looking forward to this. The fight starts now. Well, we can one round Mothava. Oh, right, so the trick is to freeze Zoss and then focus on Mothava, right? That's what we did in the, the uh, boss battle, mini, mini boss battle here. Do we have to scan them again? I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Fancy fighting you here, Zoss. You've already lost to us in eating, and now you'll lose in combat. We hope you'll enjoy the bitter chill defeat. That's the same thing we said, I think we said before, right? Mothava. You're respected and adored by so many. It pains me to see your true colors. Let's defeat her and then take care of Zosk. Okay, well, let's actually take care of Zosk first. Then we empower V. We'll use an item as well here to recover some TP points because we're running kind of low. Let's use a crispy donut. And then we tornado toss. Bud does nothing. She does a lot more damage now. Thankfully, Kabu was in the back rank. And thankfully, she attacked her as well. So let's do the turn relay trick. And then we kill her. Because V's going to do uh, easily 20 damage. Uh, we probably don't need to heal. Do we attack Zoss or do we wait around to let him out of that?
I'm a little worried he's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm a little worried he's gonna be crazy, but you know what? We'll attack him. Big hits. Okay. Let's use an item. We'll use a sweet pudding. We will use an empower. And then we use a hurricane toss. That ignores one point of armor. Can't let V fall. She's our DPS, so we gotta get her up. Unless, can we do 12 damage to Zosp? Let's push a coffin him. Didn't freeze him. Uh oh. Okay, so uh, we'll use a, a miracle shake. And then a hurricane toss again. And that leveled us. The next to last level. Rank up. Well, I think we grabbed teamwork points. Well, actually, no. <laughs> so here's the thing. I did... Oh, oh I forgot to mention. Off-screen, I bought some more medals. And I did buy a TP-up medal. Which is three medal points to equip and gives you three teamwork points. So we can choose medal points and just put it in the teamwork point medal. If I feel like we do want three more teamwork points. So let's grab medal points. Ugh. Uh, uh, this is... Is this enough for you? Come on, just drop it. I'm not even tired yet. You better give up. Uh, fine, fine, whatever. I give up. You win. Are you happy now? I concede, Team Snake Mouth. Today you're better than us. What a pathetic end. What an incredible battle! Bulgaria holds so much strength! I, I mean, ugh, not a bad showing. <laughs> oh my dear. Okay, so they liked, they liked all, the, all of us. That's good. Oh, thank you everyone. We're all the best, aren't we? Make sure to come to my next show. You'll get even closer to me. Oh, I would hope they would shout for all of us, not just Team Snake Mouth. Oops. Guess there's a new hot band in town. What the? I can't believe they're cheering for you! Justice was quite popular with the crowd. Maybe termites just have awful taste. Ugh. Mothava, you'll always have your true fans. C come on, everybody. Say my name one more time. Yeah, at least someone did. This concludes today's battle. Team Snake Mouth, please meet us back at the Royal Chamber. Theatrics aside, there are some serious things to discuss. You fought well. We shall see you there. Stupid crowd. We'll go on ahead. No weird tricks. Just shut up. I don't want to hear you ever again. Ugh. Bye. Poor you. I feel so tired. But we did it. No time for the inn. 
Let's get going to the palace. Oh man, I that's a, I want to go to the inn. Oh, we're full healed. Okay, we're full healed. We did use some items, but we'll push on. When we get back, everyone, because we're going to stop here. Oh, actually, the first thing we should do is also put those metal points in, right? So, since I don't want to actually think too much at this moment, which is to say I don't want to spend another 30 minutes looking at all these medals, I will just take the TP medal at the moment, TP plus. Save the game, and we'll call it quits here. Thank you guys for watching. And we come back, we'll talk to this guy, see if he, how many berries he earned. And then we'll uh, head back to the throne room. See you guys then. Take care, everyone.